the Tulane University Freeman School of Business, and Birken Road Reports proudly present an initiating coverage equity research report on Susser Petroleum Partners by Birken Road analysts Jordan Gregory Dornfeld, Christopher Kleteka, Catherine Leithhead, Mike Maffey, and Mary Doris Reggie. In this video, we will present the four main areas of our research into Susser Petroleum, including company background, our investment thesis, our assessment of risk, and financial analysis. Susser Petroleum is a regional wholesale distributor of motor fuel and lesser of properties, primarily fuel stations and convenience stores. Susser Petroleum is organized as a master limited partnership and recently spun off from its parent and majority owner, Susser Holdings Corp. And Susser Petroleum trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker SUSP. A master limited partnership has the limited liability of a corporation with a tax structure of a partnership. Equity owners in an MLP are called unit holders and buy units, which are similar to stock in a corporation and are traded on public exchanges. Unlike most corporations, MLPs have passed through taxation and therefore do not pay income taxes at the company level. MLPs make quarterly required distributions to unit holders, similar to a corporation paying dividends to shareholders. However, these distributions are not taxed like dividends. By nature, MLPs are steady cash generating businesses that trade at higher EBITDA multiples because the MLPs tend to be stun off into industries that trade at higher multiples. MLPs are required to have 90% of its revenue from qualified sources including natural resource activities, real estate rental income, gain on the sale of assets including commodities and commodity futures, interest, dividends, or any combination thereof. Susser Petroleum has three main aspects of their business, fuel distribution, real estate, and their MLP structure. In fuel, Susser Petroleum has a distribution agreement with Susser Holdings. The distribution agreement grants Susser Petroleum the right to be the sole distributor of fuel to stripes, gas, and convenience stores. And Susser Petroleum currently makes over 99% of its revenue from fuel distribution. In real estate, Susser Petroleum has a buy-leaseback agreement with Susser Holdings. This agreement allows Susser Petroleum to buy and lease back up to 75 stripe stores by 2015. Susser Petroleum leases back these stores at an 8% annual interest rate to Susser Holdings. And in the MLP structure, Susser Petroleum completed its IPO in September of 2012 by raising $209 million. Susser Petroleum pays a quarterly required distribution of over 43 cents per unit to its common unit holders, and the only tax Susser Petroleum pays is a Texas state franchise tax. Susser Petroleum's organizational structure starts with Susser Holdings, a growing, third-generation, family-run business which owns and operates Stripes Convenience Stores, the Laredo Taco Company, and Susser Petroleum. Susser Holdings continues to own 100% of the general partnership through its wholly-owned subsidiary and owns 50.1% of Susser Petroleum's total units. The majority of Susser Holdings' ownership of Susser Petroleum comprises subordinated units, which may receive distributions only after required quarterly distributions to common unit limited partners are met. Susser Petroleum offered nearly 11 million common units to the general public in its IPO. Investment advisors hold the majority of Susser Petroleum's common units, and individuals hold roughly 5%. Sam L. Suster, CEO of Susser Petroleum, is the largest insider holder of 2.41% of the total units. Susser Petroleum operates in a downstream segment of the value chain in wholesale distribution. And Susser Petroleum contracts all transportation and logistics back to Susser Holdings. Susser Petroleum, headquartered in Houston, Texas, operates in the United States with a majority of its operations in Texas. The company also operates in New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Louisiana. Susser Petroleum distributed 1.4 billion gallons of fuel in 2012 to over 2,500 locations, including over 560 Stripes convenience stores and affiliates and the balance of companies comprise independently operated consignment locations, independent gas station operators, and commercial customers. Susser Petroleum purchases 60% of its fuel from two large refiners, Valero Energy and Chevron. Additionally, Susser Petroleum contracts with over 20 branded and unbranded suppliers. 90% of 
or more than 1.2 billion gallons of its yearly fuel sales volume is sold through long-term distribution contracts. Our investment thesis for Susser Petroleum contains four key elements. First, tax-deferred quarterly distributions give investors a high yield. Second, three-year plan for lease stores and distributed fuel from the agreement with Susser Holdings results in steady growth. Third, new, larger format stripe stores stimulate average fuel gallons per store growth. And fourth, opportunities for growth exist in other major markets. Susser Petroleum's dividend yield of 5.5% compares favorably with the yields on both stocks and bonds. The box on the left shows average dividend yields for both the S&P 500 and relevant S&P 500 segments. On the right are selected bond yields. Worth noting is that at no point in the last 10 years has the yield on the 10-year Treasury note exceeded Susser Petroleum's dividend yield. Susser Petroleum, according to the Omnibus Agreement, has the option to acquire 75 Stripes gas and convenience stores by 2015. The schedule for the planned store acquisitions is shown below. Recently, management has given guidance that they intend to accelerate the agreement. In addition, Susser Petroleum will earn $0.03 cent margin on the fuel to Stripe stores for at least 10 years. This long-term fixed margin contract, similar to other contracts they engage with with non-affiliate customers, reduces the overall commodity price risk. Large format Stripe stores currently sell two to three times the fuel of traditional Stripe stores. Large format Stripe stores have more pumps than traditional format stores, feature diesel pump islands, include the fresh Mexican food restaurant, the Laredo Taco Company, and are targeting the growing Hispanic population. Given the demographic changes that are taking place in Texas and adjacent states, Susser Petroleum, with the new larger format Stripe stores featuring the fresh Mexican food restaurant, could be in a position to extend their presence in existing and new markets outside of South Texas. The table to the right shows large cities with low Stripes market penetration and high Hispanic population. We identified three risk areas for Susser Petroleum, operational, financial, and regulatory. The main operational risk for Susser Petroleum is a business reliance on Susser Holdings, followed by weather and seasonal trends, fuel price risk, and competition from other fuel vendors. Accounting for two-thirds of its revenues, Susser Petroleum relies heavily on Susser Holdings for both revenue and growth. Planned Stripe stores will likely accentuate this reliance. Severe weather, such as hurricanes, can freeze the production of oil in the Gulf, drastically impact the price of motor fuel, and disrupt fuel distribution channels. Seasonal trends also influence Susser Petroleum's distribution on an annual basis. The price of motor fuel is highly volatile, varying over the last 10 years between $1 and $3.50 per gallon. Changes in the wholesale price of motor fuel impact Susser Petroleum's liquidity by forcing the company to use more cash to pay suppliers when the price of fuel is high. Susser Petroleum mitigates this risk through long-term fixed-fee contracts and hedging. Related to the wholesale price of fuel is motor fuel demand with price volatility. Over the last decade, demand for gasoline has become more inelastic, by a factor of 10 in the short run and a factor of 3 in the long run. Thus, increases in fuel prices affect demand less than they did in the past. Susser Petroleum has a high reliance on debt, including a term loan and security agreement for $180.7 million expiring in September of 2005 and revolving line of credit totaling $250 million on which the company currently relies to pay their quarterly required distributions. Until Susser Petroleum produces significant operating cash flows to pay its unit holders, the company will continue to draw on this credit facility. The company's recent IPO and reliance on credit to pay unit holders have left the company with a high debt-to-equity ratio relative to its peers, and it, taking on additional debt is a risk. Susser Petroleum faces regulatory risk associated with the downstream segment of the oil and gas industry. Stringent safety requirements on oil and gas operations throughout the United States impact the profitability of Susser Petroleum's business model. Susser Petroleum's MLP business structure creates a number of risks for the company as well. Due to the Tax Reform Act of 1986 and the Revenue Act of 1987, 
The Internal Revenue Code currently exempts MLPs from paying federal income taxes at the entity level. These tax benefits of the MLP business structure rely on the continuation of these current laws and changes could make the MLP business structure unprofitable. In developing our financial model to determine the value for Susser Petroleum, we made four key assumptions. First, that all growth is dependent on opening new Stripe stores. This includes 75 Stripe acquisitions by 2015, and also that each of those stores would be new large format Stripe stores. Second, the Susser Petroleum would make no new acquisitions of third party locations. Third, fixed margin distribution contracts would be the continued practice with three cents per gallon for Stripe stores and four and a half cents per gallon for non-affiliates. And fourth, that Susser Petroleum status as a master limited partnership would be unchanged as would be their quarterly required distribution. The 2012 revenue is broken down in the next slide. Susser Petroleum made $4.27 billion, of which 99.7% was derived from motor fuel sales. Rental income and other income comprised the other 0.3% respectively. For 2014, we forecasted revenues at $4.35 billion. For developing the value for Susser Petroleum, we used three valuation methods the discounted cash flow model, which we use because Susser Petroleum plans to realize stable and steady growth in its quarterly required distributions, the dividend and discount model, because maintaining cash distributions is essential to MLP unit holders, and finally the price to distributable cash flow method, which helps define the value of Susser Petroleum's units in relation to the company's cash available to pay unit holders. For a detailed breakdown of our valuations, please download our report at birkenroad.org. And the 12-month target price is shown in the next slide. By using a weighted average of the discounted cash flow, dis dividend discount model, and price di distributable cash flow models, we came up with a 12-month target price of $30. When compared with the current price of $31.80, we feel that Susser Petroleum's units are fully, currently fully valued. To summarize, we think Susser Petroleum is a well-run company and has a solid three-year growth plan. We believe the dividend yield plus growth in capital gives value to unit holders. We also think that Susser Petroleum minimizes its risk with long-term contracts with stable partners. And our 12-month target price is $30 per unit. Our investment rating is market performance. This is the 2013 Susser Petroleum Equity Analysis Team that performed initiating coverage for Birkenrode reports. From right to left, Kate Leithhead, Mary Doris Reggie, Christopher Kleteka, the Investment Research Manager Ned Ryder, Mike Maffey, and Jordan Gregory Dorenfeld. We sincerely appreciate your time. The Birken Road Reports are produced solely as part of an educational program of Tulane University's A.B. Freeman School of Business. The Birken Road Reports are not investment advice and you should not and may not rely on them for making any investment decision. You should consult an investment professional and or conduct your own primary research regarding any potential investment.